EV converting a car while I build it that was originally intended for gas. I'm going to do what now? So if you've been following for a while, I want to do some explaining. If you're new to the channel, how's it going? Okay, so back in October, I picked up my project car, a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle. And I wanted to do something a little bit different with it because I already had a 1979 VW bus I was in the middle of restoring. For the 1979 VW bus, I bought a 1971 VW bus for parts, mainly sheet metal, some other parts, seats, things like that. Well, I didn't need the back half for the 71 bus, so I decided why not merge them together into the panel bus. Well, the plan was to do a Type 3 engine on the thing, so it's a flat pancake, and since I already drive a 67 Type 3, I knew exactly how those engines were built, because I rebuilt that one, they're great. Little pancake, short, fits underneath the, the van uh, floor. A week ago, well, two weeks ago, I picked up the uh, drivetrain, it was the Facebook find of the, of the century for me. Got this extremely cheap for the low price of my wife okayed it. And it is a 2015 Nissan Leaf. So that being said, this guy is going electric. Yeah, why not? I'm going to take the electric motor from the front of this. I'm going to put it in the back of this. I'm going to keep the front end pan, uh, pan with steering. But I'm going to take the power steering out of this guy and put it in that guy. Um, the goal? Everything from here moved over to there. I want this to be a shell when I'm done. Right down to the wiring harness, heater core, AC system, uh, stereo. Heck, this thing's got power mirrors. Might be able to pull it off over here. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, this guy has enough room in the back. I've done a ton of measuring today. This battery for the drivetrain, the traction battery they call it, is 61 by 46. I have 62 by 48 in the bed of this panel button. The motor is going to have to fit underneath that, so I'm definitely going to be squished for height in the back, but the top two sections of this, about a foot, probably a foot and four inches of, the, of this drivetrain are the controller, charge controller, all that stuff. So I can chop it down. It gets really small really fast, which I can put in the front of this, which means I can charge in the front of this. This thing's got power seats. That thing is getting power seats. Why not? It's got heat. It's got, it's going to get heat. It's got AC. It's going to get AC. Uh, stereo, XM radio, AM, FM. Um, anything this guy has, this will get. This is the S model, so I didn't gain navigation. This close. But you can upgrade it. There's there's people out there that have moved up to the SL dash and in an S and got gained it. That'd be kind of fun to have. Not that I'm going far, it's electric, right? But I want to be able to zip around town in my little panel bug. Why not do it electric? The Chatamo fast charge and the home charger are in the front of this guy. Gotta hide them under this headlight. Um, suspension shouldn't be an issue if I upgrade the rear suspension to uh, IRS with the um, bus arms from the 71 bus. So I'll make brackets and upgrade the pan. Should fit right in. I am not getting an adapter plate to mount this to the transaxle on this. There's no point in that. This thing's already got a transmission. It's already electric. It already knows. And if I do it right, I keep all the speed settings I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Here we have the 2015 Leaf. The thing has a big old door ding. But I'm not worried about doors. But I did notice something. I was talking with a friend. That door hinge... I betcha I can make. Yep, yeah, gonna do it. Gonna shave the door hinges and use these. Sure, it's gonna be a little extra work, but why not? 
Uh, this guy has every luxury most modern cars have, minus the GPS, but I'm not zipping around the country. Um, let's pop the hood here. Okay, for those that aren't a, too knowledgeable in Leafs, which I've recently become, the top part is the charger. See the cable running to here? That goes to here. You can actually see the little wires down in there. That goes to there, these two things. Home charger on this side, fast charger on this side. Fast, home. To hide that under there. Why not? This guy comes off. He's only about eight or nine inches, maybe. I mean, he's probably a full foot whenever you get to this bump. But under there's the charge controller. That could be mounted in there. Don't need a fuel tank because the next part is the controller DC to DC, something like that. Does all the heavy lifting. Power brakes with ABS can be moved over because they'll be reading drive systems from the electric motor not from the wheel. AC system, fuse boxes. So essentially these two guys go away top and middle and that bottom thing is actually slightly thinner than a 1960s style pancake engine from a Type 3. And definitely thinner, thinner than a Corvair. So I could hide most of the, the big stuff up front and then pardon the mess in the back and then put the rest of the motor in there. Do not need this um, opening anymore since I'm shrinking that already anyway. I can do all that because this guy's got to be shrunk for the back lights. And then a cool bumper. So I'm going to convert it to IRS. I've actually got. Oh, my windmill. Sorry, tornado took out the windmill. I had to move it. So I've got the arms from the 71 bus that I chopped up. Then I will convert this pan to handle. Yep. Reinforce the A pillar here to do the new door hinge delete. The more I think about it, I've seen a lot of uh, cars keep this. So I might just keep this and just knock it off here because the rest of it doesn't need it. So I'm just going to get rid of back here. I'm going to get rid of the gutter back there. But yep, take that out, move it over here, boom. EV converting a car while I build it that was originally intended for gas. For all the purists, I'm sorry, this was not your uh, car anyway. And when purists say you should do this, you should do this, you should do this, they're usually uh, trying to keep the old ways, but the new ways are fun too. So. Here we are, getting ready for a major upgrade. So follow along, check me out. If you haven't seen my past videos, check them out. If you're new to the channel, please do. If you're old to the channel, thanks for sticking around. This road got bumpy. And uh, for all the people, the haters out there that are purists, this was never a purist car. I was never gonna have it you know, not have cool gadgets in it. Huey? Huey is a very gadget-filled car. GPS, uh, uh, all sorts of cool gadgetry inside. Uh, he talks to me. It's it's an AI system. That's for another video. This guy's going to be even smarter. And the bonus of this being electric is there's no gear to shift. There's no, um, you know, it's stop and go from a simple pedal doesn't mean I can't, with power steering, I I mean, couldn't make this remote controlled. I could drive this through the, through the car show from behind it. 
Um, why not? This guy's limited. This one. This guy's going mock. Why don't you meet Eddie V or Eddie Van Hollen? The electric 2024 VW panel bug. What up, dude? Yeah, I'm going to be weird in this one, but follow along. It's going to be fun.